Hey there, it's another edition of Tutorial Wednesday. Today, I'm going to be teaching you some video tricks for your TikTok or Instagram video reels. Like this one. Excited? So am I. Let's jump right into the video. Hey there, if you have a smartphone, you would want to binge on my channel. And every week I teach you one thing that you can do with your smartphone or a tip on how to make money online with your smartphone. Don't miss subscribing and turning on notifications so you don't miss a single video from my channel. You are welcome to my channel. Ah. Alright, so what are the steps we are going to take in creating or um, getting these video tricks done. The first one is you need to think, um, you need to know the tools that you're gonna be needing. And that tool, I'm not gonna call or start calling professional to just your ring lights and tripod, all right? Like the ones that I'm gonna show you later, okay? It always comes with the phone holder. So just with that one equipment, you're good to go, all right? So another thing is you need to ensure you take control of your lights. Okay, so um, when you're taking a video, like for instance, if you're using an iPhone, if you're taking the shot or the video with an iPhone, just tap and hold. Once you've gotten a good picture quality, all right, tap and hold on the screen. You're going to see AE auto auto exposure and auto um, focus lock. That is AE or AF lock. All right, so that means you've already locked the screen so every other shooting you're going to do the, the lighting will not be switching will not be changing okay that's one of the things if you do not do this you're going to see some people when they do things like this the color of the other video coming in might change all right the lights it's always because of problem with the lights okay so you need to take control of your light by doing this okay so sometimes you cannot even think of closing blocking out all the lights from anywhere in the room okay like what i did initially the video you're going to see before I had to reshoot it, I used the light from the, the natural light from the window. Then I used um, my ring lights, two of them, to balance out. Okay, so that's the video you're going to see. If not, because I have two lights, I can actually decide to use one as the key light and the other one as the field light and then block out the light from the natural source. Okay, so all of this is just for the sake of taking control of your light so that your light doesn't go, you know, start dimming along the way. All right, and you won't even notice. Okay, so once you're done, all of the other things like the clothes that you're going to be wearing, okay, should also be available. You wear your first clothes and then walk across, take the, next, the second clothes, walk across, take the third, you know. Now, you could decide to always pause your video or even take the shot, end it, start another one, end it, start another one, just for the sake of not having a very long video, alright. In fact, I would advise that don't pause the video, rather it's best that you take the first shot of you walking across and then end the video take the next one end the video take the third the fourth depending on how many clothes you want to change to okay so once you've gotten the shooting all right once you're done with the shooting so you're going to see things like like this all right all of this you're going to be seeing those things when you've done your shooting perfectly so the next thing is now to put it in your video editor so now let's get into the editing of our video all right, so let's start the editing, okay, with King Master. So I'm going to select 9 by 16, definitely because of the aspect ratio of TikTok or Instagram Reels, okay. So now I'm going to just select a white background. So I'm tapping on image assets, okay. On King Master, you have your image assets already. So I extended it just by tapping and holding here and drawing to the right, okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the layer and then I'm going to bring in all the videos that i had already shot. Okay, so these are the videos I'd shot. This is the first one. Okay, this is the first one. Okay, so I'm going to bring in the rest. So remember that they are supposed to be four. So this is the second one. All right. Still going to bring in tap on media then go to video the fourth one sorry the third one and finally the fourth okay now there's definitely the one that i shot that introduces the other 
or they order um videos okay so i'm going to break this is the video right here so i'm just going to make it to be the first so i'm just tap and hold and then drag all right that's once you tap and hold any of the layer of the video you're gonna feel that vibration on your thumb and then you just move it to the right that's how you move the video okay so this is the video that um i first called in the rest okay so i'm going to tap here okay so this is the button i'm tapping right here and then zoom in to cover up the whole space okay so remember that this needs to be equal with all of them so as you can see that the one i just did now there's still some white edge around it so i don't want any of those edges so i must zoom i must expand it till it covers all of the white all of the white background such that it will now be only this video okay so this is the video so i'm going to cut here you can see that my cursor right the red line okay that's where the video is okay so i'm going to select the video tap on the scissors button up here and then trim to the left okay so this is the video i am bringing in right now so let's try to play the video okay so now it's going to call in the rest then the rest will start moving in from here all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to bring from this point i'm going to move the next video in all right so remember that it never starts from there okay so this is the next video i have and i'm just going to tap on this button up here to bring it to front okay so this is the next video um first let's i'll tap on this button to bookmark all right so once it turns to a purple color you know that you've bookmarked it okay because i'm about to move into the next the next guy okay starts moving in all right so this is it we're almost there okay so this is when the next person starts moving in okay so this is it okay all right so this is where i'm going to cut this video in all right well let's just move it in a little okay so this is where i'm going to cut this video okay so the next thing i'm going to do, please pay attention i'm going to span it again to zoom in okay so i've zoomed in all right so remember what's going about to happen here see what's about to happen so i'm going to tap on this one and then i'm going to go down and look for the key called blending okay so i'm just going to tap on darken you see you see the other one is now looking as if they are all on the same different people you see what happened you see maybe i should even move in from this point where he called in all right so moving back then i should bring it in right here okay so we now move this way did you see how it happened all right so the next thing i'm going to do is from the point where this second guy have moved okay so you can see that it looked as if we are all matching at the same line okay so from this point i'm about to call in the next person okay so this is the next video i'm about to move in okay so i'm just going to tap the bookmark and then start pushing this video until i have the person moving all right so remember this is the video we are working on currently okay so sorry i did not bring it to front so i'm supposed to bring it to front okay so the video haven't started coming in the character hasn't entered character c hasn't and are you sure if the card okay this was when the character entered okay so you can see so you can see i must okay so this is where i'm going to cut again so once i cut i'm just going to i'm just going to let's see if i can okay i can't <laughs> oh awesome i can so this split screen it's just what expands it and it fills up the page immediately okay so i forgot i can even do that so now i'm going to select this third frame all right and then i'm going to go for the blending again 
blend so i'm going to go for darken okay so this is it right now so this is it right now i hope i okay yes i did it so this is the next one quick one before we continue with this um, tutorial i would like to bring to your notice i'm going to be hosting a class on how to create mobile applications with your smartphone come 18th and 19th of november all right i'm going to teach you how to create awesome um, applications maybe gaming applications well not really the technical or sophisticated applications remember i said we are going to be using our smartphone so you're not going to be required to code or know how no python language or css or whatever so there will be no coding required no sophisticated technology required just an app on your smartphone just drag and drop the thing and then you have a, a really nice application for your business and you can also get to offer this service to people what are the kind of apps you're going to be creating um well educational apps all right you're going to be learning educational app because you can also add games sorry you can also add quiz in the application you're creating and then you, you're also going to learn how to create an e-commerce store application all right the kind of junior or aliexpress and all there about also use okay not really that sophisticated type but you know the simple ones okay so we are going to be learning how to do that so if you're interested in this master class please click the link on the description down below so you can sign up and um, i'll see you in the class on the 18th so now let's see what we have let's see oh wait i think i've made a mistake right here sorry i've made a mistake let's also let's undo undo okay okay so this is the video i'm supposed to trim i went and trimmed an, a different video all right so this is the video i'm supposed to trim okay and this is the video all right so this is the guy walking past okay but it we noticed that the guy okay he did move in quite good all right so i am going to do what blend blend all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to pan and zoom okay so we've zoomed in no no that zoom actually removed so we can't do that so let's use our hand and just pan and zoom okay so we are good all right so now let's see the three guys that we have here so this is the first guy moving in calling in the second all right now he moves the third person moves okay so now before we call in the fourth let's still go for where okay okay mm -hmm. walk walk okay now we can call in the fourth guy so let's see so remember bookmark all right so let's see where the fourth guy started working in and then we also need to what bring it to front okay so we know what we are working with so let's see where the fourth guy moved in the period the fourth guy moved in don't forget who the fourth the frame for the fourth guy okay all right so this is the fourth guy walking in so let's just take it back a little okay so we are going to trim all right so this is the fourth video okay and again we are going to do our blending darken okay then we can now pan and zoom in okay so we pan and zoom in okay awesome awesome so now let's see what we have that's the first coming so the next the third and the fourth all right <laughs> somebody walked back okay i think i can even leave that walking back but it's not part of, it's actually not part of what i'm teaching so right now i'm just going to um select all of them and cut them off okay i'm just going to select and cut them all out all right so we have this right now guys we have this okay next come in two three four somebody's going to walk back <laughs> all right so so that's it guys so now let's turn off all our um all our 
the sound of the video okay so i'm going to select this and turn off the sound i'm going to select this one turn off the sound i'm going to select this one turn off the sound i'm going to select this and turn off the sound all right so the next thing i'm going to do is what i'm going to now see if there is need for color effects okay i think there could be a need so i'm just going to select one of the videos then go to my my adjustments okay maybe i'm just going to increase the um i'm just going to increase the highlights and as well the shadow okay just for the sake of blending everything okay so i'm just i may have to do this all right so maybe i could just um increase the contrast a little as well so you don't have to do this it depends on your color all right depends on the picture um quality okay depends on the color of your video so you can see that the videos are now a lot better because of the color i added all right so now i'm going to tap on apply all so that this effect i did will be implemented in all of the videos okay so now watch me tap apply all all right so it have applied this adjustment i did to the rest of them you can see the adjustments have been applied to the rest of them okay so now i can now play the video so this is how the video now looks you can see the picture quality is a lot better than before and everything is perfectly blended all right <laughs> that one that goes back is funny so <laughs> so everything is perfectly blended so finally let's add our audio okay i'm going to select the audio and then i'm going to just look for the the video or the audio of choice um let's go for an audio okay so let's go for an audio let's go to folder i think um I will see here maybe it's here okay, i think i will see here so i'm i want i downloaded that sound okay that is it so i'm gonna select and let's see how it goes now So this is where the audio is going to stop. I'm just going to trim out. All right. I'm going to add audio fade out. Okay. So guys, by doing this, I have successfully worked on this video. So I'm just going to export. Um, well, let me export that HD. All right. So I'm just going to export and um, we'll look at how it looks. Okay. We'll look at how it looks. Look, I think I can export at full HD even so that the quality will still be very good. So here. Okay, so we are now going to look at what we have done. Want to watch more tutorial videos on my channel like the one I released recently and then hit the subscribe button up here and ring the bell so you'll always be the first to know when I release a fresh video. That is if you want to keep watching videos from me and of course you want to. <laughs> my name is Frederick. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.